Hey guys, James G here. Got a brand new knife from Cold Steel. Right. This just came out about a couple months ago. I got my hands on one before they sell out. This is the Kyoto one from Cold Steel. Let's check it out. Comes in a nice little box. Now I've already been playing with this for a few days. I usually don't make a review right away. I like to play with it for a few days. Get my opinions on it. This comes with a nice secure X sheath. Now what I didn't like about this, it didn't come with a little clip the C clips to hook it onto your belt like the uh, CRKT ones come with but I just been using it as a neck knife and I put this little chain through it and I'll show you that later but let's get to the knife first so check it out the Kyoto one this retention there she is, guys. The blade, three and a quarter inch. Handle, three and three eighths. And it's Cray X. And it's made to look like the woven Japanese handles, you know, and like Japanese swords and stuff. This is the, uh, little brother to the Coben if you guys ever seen those oh that knife that's a real cool knife I gotta get that one that one's you know a six inch blade on it or so but, uh, overall six and five eighths the steel eight CR 13 13 MOV. It's a low end Chinese made stainless steel, similar to OS 8. It belongs to the CR 13 series. It's high in carbon and chromium. And uh, Spider Co. uses that steel. So. I can get a full grip on it, just barely, I wear large gloves. Nice, feels nice in the hand, I got a good grip on it, good and solid. Nice retention. <laughs> I've seen people do that. I had to try that out. That's cool. Very nice. I really like it. Like I said, I've been using it for a few days. Great for cutting boxes and what I need to. I just keep it on my neck. Pull it off when I need to. Boop. Very sharp. We're going to do... Uh, a little sharpness test. So give me a second and I'll be back. Alright guys, I got two different thicknesses. Paracord here. It's just your regular seven strand. And this one's 14 strand. So double. This is some tough stuff. It's 14 strand. Boom, right through it. Probably need to touch it up on the strop a little bit. I've been using it quite a bit. Oh. 
put the angle on that. Give me a second. There we go. I got this new setup here. I'm trying to. Yeah. That's all it is, just the angle. And of course, the. Tonto, the piercing. Oh, yeah. Crazy sharp. So, real cool. There we go. Nice little. So, I really like it, guys. Let me show you how I uh, hang it on my neck. Now, I got this from survivalresources.com, this little chain necklace here. You could buy the little C clip for it and hook onto your belt. And there we go. And paracord fits through here. Just as well. burnt those ends so the paracord will fit through there very cool very cool very cool all right so I'm going to compare it with other neck knives just so you get a feel on how kind of how big it is all right the Kyoto. This is the CRKT Minimalist. It's definitely big. There's the CRKT Spew. And here's the Bowie style. So yeah. It's definitely pretty big. But it doesn't weigh you down. It feels good. So. So that's probably going to be it, guys. Of course, if you got any questions, Something that maybe I forgot. Uh, go ahead and uh, put them down in the comments. Appreciate that. And, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, hope everybody is staying safe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Alright guys, I knew I'd forget something. You can find these on knifecenter.com for $25.49. And I'm going to put the link in the description. Alright guys? If you have any other questions that I might have forgot, but, uh, yeah, put them in the comments. I appreciate it if you give it a like. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. All right. Take care, all right? Stay safe out there, guys. All right.